Finally, it's time to do that first ride on my brand new 2020 Yamaha MT-09 that I've talked so much smack about in the past and given many excuses why I shouldn't get this bike, mainly because so many reviewers talked bad about the suspension on this bike, that it's like a pogo stick. <laughs> Uh, but Yamaha listened to its customers and in 2017 it did upgrade the suspension which a lot of people compliment the front fork which is a KYBB fully adjustable front fork but people are still talking smack about the rear shock which you can only adjust the preload and rebound. So I'm going to let you know how this suspension is in real world riding out here on the streets, the filthy streets of Cleveland, Ohio. And also I'm going to give you my initial dislikes and likes with this bike. Uh, let you know how the power hits. You know, I've had uh, two super naked bikes. I've had a Prelia Tuano B4 1100 factory and also had a Ducati XD Avell S, which is a power cruiser, but it's like a super naked as well. So I'll be able to compare the two. And in the future, I'll do a proper comparison to this bike to those bikes. So I want to see if this bike hits as hard as everybody says it does because they say it's got so much torque. So in this video, I'm going to tell you whether this bike is a stud or a dud. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Make sure to visit CycleCruiser.com and click on the menu tab My Videos and those are a bunch of playlists with all my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through. Before I give my unbiased no BS first ride review I'm going to give you a basic overview of the specs on this bike so you know what this bike's about. It's got a 900cc triple cylinder cross plane crankshaft motor that produces 105 horsepower 60 pounds feet of torque. Also, it has a six-speed transmission where you can upgrade to an OEM quick shifter for an additional 150 bucks for clutchless upshifts. The front brakes, four piston calipers, dual disc, 298 millimeter disc with ABS. The rear, single piston caliper, 245 millimeter disc with ABS as well. You can't cut the ABS off, it's always on. As far as the suspension, it has a KYBB fully adjustable front fork. In the rear, you have a monocross single shock that is adjustable for preload and rebound only. The bike has a 32.7 inch seat height, a 3.7 gallon tank, and it has a display that features coolant temperature, air temperature, two trip meters, three rider modes, two traction control levels, and the traction control can be turned off. This bike features a cast aluminum frame and cast aluminum wheels with a 56.7 inch wheelbase. As far as the gearing, it has a 16 tooth counter sprocket and a 45 tooth rear sprocket. The front tire is 120 70 and the rear tire is 180 55. It does have a slipper clutch, by the way. And this bike features a unique headlight with full LED lighting with low beam, high beam, and flasher. And it also has a full LED tail light as well. And the seat is easily removable by going underneath the tail, lifting that flap, inserting the key, turning it, and the seat pulls right off. There is a little tiny trunk that you can store maybe an insurance card. This bike comes in matte Raven Black, which you see here. Team Yamaha Blue and Ice Flu and retails for $8,999. Now let's get it started and listen to that stock exhaust. Hey guys, right off the jump, before I even get on the bike, I want to tell you what I don't like about the bike. Uh, first off, the matte black paint looks really cool, but man, it leaves marks on here. You always got to constantly clean off. I don't like how the engine cases stick out. Look at that. Look at that. Look how fat that is, man. Also, I don't like the brake reservoir here, the brake fluid reservoir turned around. You can't see the, uh, the brake fluid level. You have to go and stand in front of the bike to see it. 
<laughs> What's up with that Yamaha? Of course, I don't like these bulbous uh, turn signals, but that I can fix that. This is the seat is kind of budget. I will be changing that out, although it's pretty comfortable. It's not that bad. Okay, now let's get on the bike and do a proper first ride here and see how this bike really is. But first off, for those of you guys who want to get these awesome shorty gloves I have, this CE armor jacket that flows a ton of air on this hot day. Very cheap to get. Everybody can afford one of these. Uh, I also super lightweight helmet with auto tint shield all of my gear I always include links in the description and comment section of my video on. then you slide that switch to start it ah when you start it it automatically puts traction control on this bike so if you want to take it off you have to hold this lever on the left side up two seconds and it cuts it off and puts on this TCS light Okay, every, you have to do that every time you turn the bike on if you want traction control off. If you want it back on, you just slide it down and it goes to one. Traction control one and traction control two. I'm going to turn it off. On the right side, you have a mode button here to switch between the rider modes. I have it in A. You click it one time, it goes to B. Uh, click it one more time, it goes to standard. I'm going to put it in A. I want full balls to the wall power. Okay, for the first ride. <laughs> you know, I've had super bikes, guys, so I'm, I'm looking for this thing to have a lot of grunt and power right off the line. Uh, so we'll see. All right. All right. It's kind of a delay of the throttle. I don't know about that, man. I like a cable throttle, for the record. Oh, we got power, baby. Woo! We got some torque, baby. Oh my goodness, we got some torque. This thing's got some power and torque, guys. <laughs> you guys were not lying. This thing is the master of torque, man. It's almost truck-like, like a diesel truck torque. I like that. Beautiful, man. I love it. It is beautiful in the twisties, man. You know, I can tune the suspension a bit proper around these corners. I like it. See, it's like you have to be, the throttle's like on and off though. Like I said, that's got to be corrected, man. That's, it's weird. I don't like that. Not bad so far. It's really smooth. Okay, let's get on here. Oh, man. Oh, no. One thing I don't like right off the jump is this front wheel moves, man. When you hit it hard, you get the chatter, front wheel chatter. I have to get a steering stabilizer for this guys you know i you know it's crazy because my x the avail i don't know if that had a steering stabilizer or not i don't know but my yz 450 fx uh supermoto doesn't have one and i'm just fine but that doesn't have as much power as this but i'll tell you my yz 450 fx supermoto which is a 2019 by the way it hits harder off the line than this bike, man. I'll tell you that. It's more wild and raw and crazy. <laughs> this thing rips, man. <laughs> scary, like, when you really rip it. This bike is not really scary, but it's got... Oh, man. Yeah, it's got that grunt. It's got that grunt, boy. Woo! Yes, it's got that torque. I'm glad I picked this over the MTL7. <sighs> but it's not a crazy power. It's not crazy. The Tuano hit, I think, like I said, I, I believe the Tuano, it hit harder. But obviously, that's a liter bike, 1100cc V4 engine. And uh, that bike was awesome, man. But I'll tell you, what I love about this bike over the Tuano is that this thing doesn't heat up. There's no heat, guys. That Tuano, man, on a hot day, boy, you felt that heat. That's one thing I really didn't like about it. And really, I got this bike to be my like, like a power cruiser for me. I wasn't getting this bike to be a hooligan. You know, my YZ450FX Supermoto was the hooligan bike, guys. This, the brakes, brakes are pretty legit. Not bad. It's no, uh, you know, Brembo M50 brakes like the X Avell and Tuano. But these brakes are pretty legit, man not bad not bad at all like i said it has abs brakes that you you can't turn it off but it's not that big of a deal Th these abs brakes are pretty cool it's not bad 
I like it and I like you know switching between the modes and traction control really easy it's right straightforward two separate switches the the Tuono man you had to go through a bunch of different menus and it was really same with the XDVL like tons of menus I like this is straightforward I tell you guys this is a real good value you know I'll tell you how much I paid and how I got the deal in another video because a lot of you guys been asking me that but I want to say that for a separate video I just want to talk about first ride review I'm gonna get on the highway as far as the suspension man it's 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 jumping around here guys I'm 170 pounds without gear I don't know add like maybe 25 20 30 pounds I guess in gear and uh, so uh, see that I just hit a big bump you know we have crappy roads here in Ohio and I just this thing bumped like a like a rodeo like I'm on a Mustang yeah I definitely have to adjust this to my weight but I wanted to give you the review in full stock form that's why I didn't adjust it at all uh, I probably will be getting a different shock as far as shifting shifting is smooth I tell you guys this thing turns really well and the turning radius is awesome I like the turning radius but okay so we're here on the highway here doing 75 and we'll uh, we're in six gear so we'll do roll on here to pass this car and see how we'll see what this thing will do once I rip the throttle open here okay right now uh, this thing ain't doing much man if this was a Tuano this thing you know in that video I said power power booster on and that thing shot off like a slingshot Hyper boost on! <laughs> this thing, rip, six gear, full throttle open. It ain't doing much, guys. It ain't doing much, man. So it's not the greatest on the highway. I'll tell you, my YZ450 FX rips on the highway probably harder than this bike does. <laughs> this thing is sick, man! Isn't that weird? <laughs> I'm telling you, man, that, that, that that's my supermoto is legit, guys. That thing is crazy. It, it just requires too much maintenance, man. I had to have a bike with lower maintenance like this bike. That, like I said, I really just got this as a cruiser type bike, man. That's why I was just going to get the MT-07. Because I didn't really care about having a lot of power, but I'm glad I went with the MTO9. Uh, no vibration in the bars, no vibration in the pegs, the, uh, the mirrors, I can see great behind me. I like that, no vibration in the mirrors. Like I said, shifting is smooth. I will be adding a quick shifter. As far as comfort, seat is pretty comfortable, guys. It's not bad at all. You guys make it seem like it's horrible. It's not that bad, man. But I probably will upgrade. As far as the, the wind, the wind, it's no issue to me, guys. I'm doing what 80 miles per hour here. And uh and it's a really windy day here right now. So, but this is nothing, man. I don't need to put a windscreen. I'll probably put a windscreen on just for looks. Okay, let's drop a gear and disappear. Let's see if we can do that. We'll take it five, roll on not doing much guys no it's no super sport or super bike okay now we'll head to fourth okay fourth drop a gear disappear oh uh, that's better that's better that's better that's better okay let's drop it to third ah uh, it's okay like i said it's no super sport or super bike an R6 will probably smoke this on the highway, man, obviously. This bike is really, you know, it's known for its low-down torque, you know, and grunt and mid-range power. That's what you want for the streets. And But it's still okay on the highway, guys. It's not that big of a deal. Like, like I said, I just want to cruise. I'm not trying to race nobody out here. But I'll tell you, in mode A, it sure is like an on-off throttle type, type deal. It's like you go, you, you drop it a little bit, it's like on-off on and then you drop a little bit on the gas and it's like on off on off i don't like that man 
we'll put I mean it's not a big deal don't get me wrong I, I like it in, in mode A because I want full balls of the wall power you know ain't no half stepping baby with cycle crews ain't no half stepping I keep it real like I said I'm be, I'm want to keep it no BS unbiased review here guys I like, if I don't like it I get I'll sell the bike I don't care man I have no attachment to this bike I the YZ 450 FX I have a, that's my baby <laughs> but this bike is pretty legit though guys no hate but I like it though it's pretty cool man I dude I feel like I can go right across the country on this bike man this bike is corked up with the catalytic converter I'm gonna take the stock exhaust off put on uh, a, a crop of edge exhaust uh, carbon I'm gonna flash the ECU we're gonna open this baby up and then we're gonna drop some weight too put a lithium battery in uh, take off the mirrors put a bar in mirrors get put a fender eliminator kit take the big bulbous uh, turn signals off we'll probably be able to drop probably a good at least maybe a 12 13 pounds off of this bike man yeah this bike is pretty legit though all right let's get off here it's kind of it's weird though man it's just it's smooth but it's really it's just like they said this on off throttle is really weird man okay man let's let's put it in mode let's change the modes here and see if that helps uh gets rid of that on off deal i mean like i said i want full power but okay let's put it in b it's in b right now traction control off it's been off it's still like an on off i don't like the wire by wire th throttles man i told you that i'll keep saying it but i said like i said that xd avail uh, i didn't really have any complaints with that ride by wire throttle it's smoother and b it's smoother but i like a i like a hit in power you know in mode a it's just weird like on off on off on it's doing it in mode b too you know i'm used to you know my yz 450 fx supermoto has uh or, you know has a cable throttle so i've been riding that exclusively like for what the last couple of years so <sighs> that's why it's been a wire it's been a while since i've been on a ride by wire throttle bike <laughs> I'm in the hood. I'm in the west side of Cleveland, baby. West side? You see these type of houses, guys? You know I'm in Cleveland. <laughs> or Lakewood or something. You don't really see these type of houses in the suburbs too much. Okay. Do you see me? Make sure he's seeing you guys. Where is that horn at? Oh, the horn. A uh, little, little sissy horn. <laughs> I need to add me a, a monster air horn on, my, on this bike. Yeah, it's like a delay in the throttle, man. I don't like that. I like my YZ's raw balls to the wall, you know, throttle. Power right off the line, right off the jump. This is more refined, but this is a street bike, you know. It's supposed to be that way. But I'll tell you, that Tuano hit harder. XD Avail hit harder. I'll say it again. Uh, but, like I said, this is a pretty legit bike, man. Like I said, no heat issues. That's good. Like I said, I got this bike just as a cruiser, man. Let's get back on the highway here. We'll rip it on the... Let me change the mode, though. Can you change the mode on the fly? Yeah, you can change the mode on the fly. That's good. All right. Traction control's off. I'll ride with the traction control on, too, to see how that is. Okay, let's rip it here. Make sure no cops are behind me. This thing turns beautifully, though, I tell you guys. Woo! Yeah, it hits pretty good, man, but... Oh, that steering jumps around, guys. It needs a steering stabilizer for sure. Yeah. I'm not going to be busting wheelies on this until I get a steering stabilizer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, what are we in? Fourth? It does better in fourth on the highway for passing power. You want to be in gears one through four if you want to hit it. But I'm just going to throw it in six here and chill. 
and just enjoy you just enjoy the scenery that's why I got this bike chill I got the you know a little bit of power there if I need it um, like I said there's no this is no monster power like some of you guys make it seem like this bike is like has monster power or something man there's no monster power here guys got good good bottoming grunt good you know decent mid-range uh, from my understanding the quarter mile in stock form it'll do 10.98 uh, seconds which is pretty legit that's kind of in the 600 cc super sport territory and uh, they say you know if you mod the bike you can get as low as like 10.5 seconds in a quarter mile which is respectable that's that's legit so i'll be it'll be really interesting to see how this bike will perform uh, modified so but yeah it's really a weird bike man the Tuono was a lot was a lot was smoother you know like my CBR 1000 about you know inline four is gonna be smoother which I like a little bit of vibration and character I don't know this bike just kind of weird though you know like the XD Avail it was uh it had character and grunt I loved it but it wasn't uh it wasn't weird like this this is kind of weird man I don't know but this bike hasn't been broken in yet guys it's not really fair to give a proper assessment on this bike yet like I said this is just a first ride review this isn't a uh, full-on review I'll do that probably in about maybe I don't know three months or maybe and then another one maybe at six months and of course I'm gonna be modding the bike in the in, in the meanwhile so yeah we definitely need some sounds on this bike man it uh, it's too quiet too quiet like I said it's got that delay in the throttle man I don't like that it's legit though man I tell you for those of you guys who want to commute and just have a you know good time on the bike this is all you need right here for the street to be honest with you it's just the throttling the fueling is weird on this man so hopefully that fuel controller that I put on this bike that flashes it and also you know changes the mapping uh, with the aftermarket exhaust hopefully that will smooth things out a bit because um, this is just really weird man see you you hit it and it's like it on off on on off weird yeah but I'll tell you guys this thing you can throw it around like nothing man I like that you could this is do some sit have some fun in the twisties on this bike for sure check it out we got another bike what is this I have another Yamaha what is that a FZR FZ6 or something like that I don't know it's a Yamaha it's legit see here that thing just turns on a dime baby what we got here uh ninja 300 and uh what you call it a v-rod or a night rod nice what we got here crf uh what you call it adventure bike here's a really bumpy road yeah it's kind of so it's, it's like bucking me around in these bumps man the suspension is weird yeah i'm definitely gonna adjust the suspension of my for my weight okay all right let me pull over here all right oh, gotta disconnect my airbag make sure you guys get an airbag vest man help help you stay safe out here on the streets like i said it feels like truck like torque at the bottom which i like that but it's it's just really weird man a really unusual experience but guys stay tuned I got a bunch of videos I'll be doing on this bike I'll do a proper comparison to the Tuano in a separate video and a proper comparison to the XD Avail and to my uh, my Supermoto we'll compare a 450 Supermoto to this bike and let you know which one is more fun and uh, and I'll let you also got a video coming probably after this video talking about what I paid for it and how I got the sick deal that I got pretty sick I probably could do a little better maybe a couple hundred dollars better but hey 
their bikes are selling like hotcakes right now. I was lucky to get what I got. So guys, there you go. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll try to answer them for you. Um, I say thumbs up though. I'm really, I'm glad I got this bike, man. It serves the purpose that I bought it for. Uh, cruiser. That's what I want to get. A cruiser and I can still ride sporty out here on the streets. Uh, rip it here and there. Uh, super reliable. Low down grunt. Um, I'll test the lighting at night. So hey guys, stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe to my All in One Motorcycle channel and check out my other channel. Book out Moto. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Book Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Book Out Moto. Yeah.